we go in the second period. Into the offensive corner. That one on the tape up the wing. He'll lug that up the wing as he gets to center ice. He's got the puck. The Stars' offensive success so far in this game appears to be coming by carrying that puck into the slot and letting it rip. Given the choice, would you rather play the game on the outside or right up the middle? Back to the point from down low. Off the blocker. to stall oh, a heavy chance put the body right in front of that shot credit him with a real good block to rub it up to Ben into the offensive corner on the other side and a soft dump at that oh man from Ben's shot oh man did he get him but now he's going to have to stand up to him as the gloves are off is old style hockey toe to toe we'll get the majors as they head off the ice and uh, by the looks of them they're going to need the time they're just going to make friends with the guys that are the timekeepers in the penalty box you know they have great relationships a big time hit and we had some kind of a fight after bill boy i'll tell you what the ending of this fight is not what i expected especially because this guy instigated he goes down with a knockout and a black eye The Stars team certainly has got to feel pretty good about that physical presence right now. Can it translate into a W in this tight game, Bill? And, Gary, yeah, every team looks for whatever advantage they can get. I think this home team might have just gained a little bit. To Sakara, to Jordan Stahl. Big scrum along the wall trying to get control of this one. To Skinner. Two on two the other way. Great scoring area, but did not get anything on the shot. Center ice on the boards. That dump will set up an offensive chance on the other side. Whitney. To Erickson. Near the crease, trying to move it. Big shot along the wall. Tremendous hit along the boards. That puck is free, and that carrier's down to Westgar. Shoots off the blocker. Plays to the offensive end. To Dwyer. Oh, what chances. Look at the moves he's putting on. Trying to find a little room. Got all of that. Uses the pads to knock that down. Offensive opportunity. Three on two. There's a wrist shot. Nice glove save. Covered up. Sometimes you're bested by the netminder, no matter how good you are offensively, and that was a really good chance for him. He just could not bring that wrister by the goaltender. To LaRose. To Skinner. Up to the point. They work that puck along the blue line in the offensive zone. Good poke check to free that puck up. Through center ice to Eakin. Snaps it. He was in the right place, right time. That'll be a blocked shot. To LaRose. Finds it on his stick again to Skinner. There's a point man looking for a little room. The Hurricanes coaches are going to keep looking at this because this point effort is paying off. Deep, low attack. That seems to be the plan here as they're generating attack from below the goal line. in the offensive end off the draw. Easy save with the pad. To Wesco. Two on two the other way. To Cole. Takes a 
shot. Nice pad save. That's a good chance. Up the wing to Dwyer. Wrist shot on. It's a save on the long shot. Tremendous defensive effort. Two periods of play showing up on the board. Zip zip at the end of two. Carolina's possession numbers through two periods of play are impressive, but they haven't translated into goals, and somehow they've got to find ways to pound pucks between the four-by-six opening. A good job in net. With saves like this, that's kept them in the game as we head to our break.